one thing that's interesting here is, I suppose, uh, David Gawke, um, who brought this up, was talking about the tax revenue being um, being diddled, if you like, by people doing this. But what we've got so far is uh, people who are running legitimate businesses who would never do it, uh, Douglas, you say that your your firm would never do it, um, sure. against people who, who would do it. Let, let me bring in Jonathan Davis, who's an economist and wealth manager. <coughs> Morning, Jonathan. Morning, Kate. A morning. Like I say, we're not focusing on tax, the the HMRC at the moment. Um, it's almost kind of this internecine dispute between uh, between working people. Um, well, it, it, indeed, um, I, I, and uh, I think in the conversation you just conversations you've just been having there, I think that something's uh, missing. That um, you have an individual there who's employed by one company and who is effectively self-employed. Um, at the weekends, um, shall we say. Uh, And the fact is, if you're running a business, whether uh, uh, formally or not, you're self-employed, you don't have to pay VAT, you don't have to register for VAT, should I say, until you have £77,000 per annum of sales. So, you know, in in, in the formal business, um, that individual working at the weekend um, it wouldn't be registered for VAT in the first place, so the customers wouldn't be paying VAT. So whether it's cash or not, VAT doesn't come into it. Right. So, I mean, do, do you think, what do you think about um, David Gawke uh, highlighting this particular area? I mean, do you think we've got a real issue here with this? Um, the answer to your question is yes and no. Um, I'm finding that this government is increasingly tokenist and populist without actually achieving anything, um, of course, uh, and incidentally, three times uh, you have said that what he said was that it's morally repugnant to avoid tax. No, he didn't. No, I said said morally unacceptable. I never used the word repugnant. uh, uh, Unacceptable to evade tax. Um, And the the BBC often mixes this up, as your first caller said. No, tax avoidance is perfectly legal. Uh, When you pay, when you invest in an ISA, when you invest in a pension, you're avoiding some taxes. Uh, Similarly, um, however, if you actually are taking action to not pay tax that is required to be paid, that is tax evasion, that is illegal. So one of your answers to your question is, yes, this is morally unacceptable. uh, People should not be paying tradesmen or others in cash to evade tax. However, the the other answer to your question is no, this is not a major issue because it's such a red herring. Although there may be large numbers of people involved in this cash uh, in hand uh, activity it's a relatively small amount of tax which is being evaded we should be going for the big fish the international wealthy the bankers these are the guys if we the HMRC the tax authorities went for them, we'd make much larger tax haul than these little guys. Yeah, well, but I suppose if you are going to talk about morality, then morality must uh, be applied across the board. So whether you are talking about 2% of the the total uh, amount of tax or 98%, if you're going to apply morality to a situation, then it has to be uniformly applied, uh, does it not? But let's bring in Jim and Dundee. I think he kind of agrees with, with you, Jonathan. Good morning, Jim. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, that's the way I was looking at it as well. I was think I was wondering whether it was a uh, April Fool's Day because, you know, I let you in a secret key. Government advisors must be laughing today because you know they've you know the people have been diverted away from the real issues, which is this thirteen trillion I think that's been spoke about, which apparently is all very legal. Uh, that's been going on at the minute, you know, and it's this classic Tory thing by divide and rule. As you said yourself there earlier on, the internecine wars that are taking place between uh, co-workers, you know, I mean, let's be honest here, Kay, how many Tories have got old money, uh, you know, that they probably didn't achieve uh, through honest endeavour, you know? So, I mean, I think it's absolutely hilarious. And, you know, and sadly, it's such a serious issue, but, I mean, as I say, the Tory strategists must be laughing the dick. Well, okay. would, you, would you do it, Jim? Would I do it? Mm. Yeah, of course we would, yes. Mm. Of course we would. If I, had, I mean, I was like, you know, I was just thinking like the, the plumber you had on earlier on. I mean, this whole idea of the market 
Well, you know, the point being is that is the market, but it's the market for the poorer people in society. You know, the old woman that you're speaking about who would end up just having a drip, a drip and tap because mm-hmm. she has no other means of uh, being able to pay the extortionate, dare I say it, mm-hmm. or legal uh, costs. You know, yeah, why not? I mean, to me, that man's just doing a good deed and getting a couple of bob for a few pints. You know, it's called, uh, you know, community spirit. Yeah, well, Maureen and Bears Den, do you have any problem with it? I've had lots of problems with (laughs) paying for various types of work being done to my house. I moved into my house and needed lots of work, both internally and externally. And I had to pay a variety of um, firms to do work in my house. And I paid for a variety of means, cash, cheque, as well as credit card. Mm -hmm. And I have to say the ones that I had most problems with were the ones that I had paid um, through cheque and through credit card with having receipts obtained and then had to go down the route of going to citizens of the base um, when the firms weren't coming back to redress problems that I had incurred and going to trading standards and with one in particular I had to go to small claims court and each of the firms that I had to go down those routes with eventually I discovered had ceased trading under the company name but had continued to trade using a slight variation of their company name right. and continue to trade in the same localities right. as well. And, and to me, that is morally wrong and that should not be allowed to happen. But these, these we... were firms that appeared to you at first, Maureen, to be legitimate. Yes, they were legitimate. I, mm-hmm. I did even the same the things that you're advised to do, go round and ask other people, other neighbours um, for advice and who had done work in their houses, look at the work that's been done, see the work that's been carried out, go to the places um, where work's been carried out and see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So in terms of the people that you paid cash in hand, you didn't have the same problems then? I won't say I didn't because I've had varied Uh problems, but I have to say that the ones I did pay cash in hand with, most of them did the best jobs. Mm -hmm. The ones that I didn't pay cash in hand, um, and I have to say the ones that I paid cash in hand with, I had receipts for the work. So to me... I wasn't uh-huh. getting a reduction in price. No. So, I mean, apart from, you know, the, the quality of the work that you got, Maureen, did you have any little twinge at all when you were paying somebody cash in hand that maybe you shouldn't be doing this? No, actually, I didn't. Not when I was getting a receipt. No. I wasn't aware that I was getting any reduction because it wasn't spoken about at all. I mean, it didn't matter to me. Right, OK. It was, so did you, did you offer cash in hand or did they want that? No, they asked. They asked for, they for asked. cash. Yeah, OK. And, and Douglas, that's where you start to sm- smell a rat, isn't it? When somebody asks uh, a treat. Oh, there's a call for you, Douglas. <laughs> because <laughs> there's a customer there. Um, that's where you smell a rat, when, when a tradesman asks to be paid cash in hand, yeah? Definitely. Um, uh, a legitimate business, uh, generally speaking, wouldn't be interested in, in, in cash. As one of your previous callers mentioned, it costs you money to put cash into the bank anyway. And uh, Douglas, what if you had a cleaner in three hours a week? Would you pay her or him cash in hand? Uh, no, uh, they would uh, require to have an invoice and the invoice would need to be paid. If they were registered for VAT, obviously VAT would be part of that. Okay, somebody uh, who came round and offered to cut your hedge for 20 quid, you'd never pay cash in hand? No. No. OK, well, Douglas, you're, you're pretty black and white on it. Um, we'll come back to this one, folks. So 500, 92, 95, 00. Have you, would you pay cash in hand? Do you think there's anything wrong with doing that? Do you think that you're diddling uh, the tax revenue, the exchequer, or uh, are you perhaps making things difficult for legitimate firms? Douglas there, Blackhall, who runs a plumbing business, said he would never do it in any circumstances. Wouldn't play, pay a cleaner cash in hand, wouldn't pay somebody to cut his hedges cash in hand. No way, always needs... Uh, um, a receipt and an invoice and all the kind of official things. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Andrew, the firefighter, says, if I paid a workman cash in hand, surely it's still going back into the economy because he'll still have to pay for parts, fuel, food, mortgage and uh, what he declares the tax man, like we all have to do. Um, an anonymous one, politicians have some nerve criticising hard-pressed homeowners for paying cash in hand when they've used every means possible to manipulate the expenses system. And Kev Edwards says, I can't help thinking tax issues in the media just now are a smokescreen to divert attention from the super-rich, whether the 
they are companies or individuals. Um, and Jim and Dundee had the same feeling here that we were by being diverted from the real issue. But if we are talking about moral acceptability, then whether it is at the very high end and people are avoiding uh, multi-million pounds worth of tax or whether it is just you and me bunging somebody 20 quid, should the morality of the situation um, not be the same? Um, do let me know what you think.